In this video I'm showing how to use command macros for fast and consistent switch port configurations on a Cisco switch. I'm SSH'd into a completely blank switch here and if I say show run on one of the interfaces you can see it doesn't have any configurations. And the simplest way to get the interface up and running is to just jump into global configuration mode and then into interface config and start typing out commands like switch port mode access, switch port access, VLAN, switch port no negotiate, spanning tree port fast, spanning tree BPU guard enable, and so forth. You can see that doing everything manually like this is a little bit cumbersome and it makes it really possible to end up with an inconsistent configuration across your switch ports. If you have a really big environment and you need to have a consistent user experience across all of your access ports, then macros are probably the best way to accomplish this. And to do this you just jump back into global configuration mode. And the command is actually hidden so the context sensitive help doesn't work, but it's just macro name and you can see it doesn't recognize it, but if we just type desktop and then hit enter, it drops us into the macro configuration mode. And in this mode you can see that the instructions are enter macro commands one per line, end with the character at. I'm going to go ahead and show how to do that now. We'll start with switch port mode access, spanning tree port fast, switch port access, VLAN, and then VLAN in all caps, and I'll explain why we do this later. Spanning tree BPDU guard enable, no logging event link status, switch port no negotiate, and we'll do no CDP enable and hit enter and then at symbol and enter again to exit the macro configuration mode. The best way to describe why we have VLAN twice here and once in all caps is to just show how we configure an interface with the macro. So I'm going to jump into fast ethernet 0 slash 2 and the command to configure it is actually just macro apply desktop and then all caps VLAN 20. And what this VLAN in all caps does is it says to replace the VLAN in all caps in the macro with the characters that follow it, in this case 20. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply here. And we get the output about port fast being configured. Just ignore that and say show sure, run interface FAO2. And you can see that all of the commands that we put in the macro are now applied to the interface. And this can also be used in the interface range command. So if I go back into conf t, interface range, FAO 3 through 20, macro apply desktop VLAN 20. Then it uses the macro on all of the interfaces in the range. And you can see that here. You can see here that the switch now has an identical configuration across all of its access ports. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to share this handy tip for managing access port configurations in a very large environment. Hit the like button if this video was helpful, and thanks for viewing.